Greetings all. I am S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Nick Fury. I have been commissioned here by the family of Dr. W to give a press conference about Marvel Universe and current events. I will now start taking questions. Yes, sir. How did you join S.H.I.E.L.D.? Join? I'm its director. I created the program as soon as Weapon X was created. We had to do something to give the world superheroes while keeping the world of supers a secret. And you are in control of the Legion with great superpowers, but you don't have any of your own. How does that make you feel? Of course I have powers. I have the gun, I have this magic trench coat, and I drink the Infinity Formula. You know, I'm actually 110. The Infinity Formula slows aging. And no, you can't have any. As the Agent Shield stands for Homeland, how do you feel as the rest of the world is being cheated out of their superhero teams? I think Doctor Strange is working on something like that. They're called the Defenders. They defend things. But also there's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Why settle for Homeland when you have the entire galaxy? But we will be a global response team if you want us to be. What was the estimated damage cost for the Shitori attack again? About 460 billion. They were actually doing the evacuating as the portal opened. But at least we're not Superman. He put up an estimated four trillion dollars of damage to Metropolis. Who pays for this? We have an accountant. Don't worry. I, I am, and I am sure you are aware of the story chronicling your agents. What purpose would a show about their lower decks give to your program? A Shield Agents of Shield TV series. Hmm. This would provide a lot of useful commentary on the goings on in our agency. We're not all about blowing up. We're all really about leaving as little of an impact as possible. And we have normal people working behind the sets to try and bring the superheroes. So seeing it from the perspective of people like you could make you feel like someone who does a good job. If they can assemble superheroes, why shouldn't you? How would you react if you found out Coulson isn't really dead? If I found Coulson alive, which he's not, because I pronounced him dead, I would squeeze him and pat him and tell him he did a bang-off job assembling the Avengers. But he's dead. And he cannot come back because that would negate the whole point of forming the Avengers, which was formed because Coulson died. And, um, yeah, not alive, never coming back, he is dead. Yeah. Now, The Avengers 2, subtitle has been announced. Could you explain to the Uniformed what Ultron is? Ultron is a super weapon capable of destroying the world. We don't know who created it, though. Dr. Pym has denied all rumors, and Tony doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would do such a thing. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out how Ultron's going to come to be. Lastly, any new additions to the Avengers? We do have two on hold. We have the Children of Magneto. Quicksilver was a harder nut to crack, but his sister, the Scarlet Witch, she was drawn immediately to Thor, so we're keeping her. They should seem pretty useful, but just stay tuned in 2015 and we'll have the whole story figured out. You're going to get James Bond 24, Star Wars 7, Superman and Batman, and Avengers 2 all in the same year. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for your time, Colonel Fury. You're very welcome, and good day to you.